a quick tutorial on how to change the port on Skype. Skype is set to port 80, um, which is if you use XAMPP, um, which is basically what I use for hosting laptops on my laptop, uh, holding, hosting websites on my laptop for testing, um, they won't run. As you can see here, it's got a problem. Port 443 is in use by uh, Skype. So what you have to do is basically go tools, options, advanced, uh, where are we? Connection. See, use port AD443 for additional incoming connection. Just untick it and then save. So now you have to basically shut down Skype. And then shut down XM. XM's not too bad, to be honest, because it's it just doesn't start if it's not working. So I'll we'll open up Skype again anyway. Where's Skype gone? Oh, there we go. Man, let's just try and run this again. Start, start, start. As you can see, it's all going green. Um, everything's working. And all it is is the port's blocking it. Now, this is Windows 8. This is a Windows 8 environment. Um, now, I know other people are having problems because they're using the front end, which is the app. You know, if you press the Windows button, it takes you to that crappy app window. You cannot disable it in the actual apps. So, do not use that one. Use the desktop version of Skype. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to switch the thing off. I absolutely hate Windows 8, to be honest. That apps thing just seems like it's uh, designed for idiots. Um, I spent years taking all this crap off my desktop, and now it's like seems to have gone back to square one for people to just press buttons. So it doesn't actually help me at all. Um, I did, in fact, to the point I don't even use the apps. I can't see the point. Why would you use the apps when you have everything at your fingertips inside a desktop environment? Um, even on the phone, my phone, my, I only have about 10 apps I actually use. Um, I can't, I, I just don't get apps the way they've set it up with buttons for everything. It just clutters everything up. Anyway, I won't ramble on, but if you've got Windows 8, use the desktop version, disable it like I've shown, and you'll find it will start to work. Um, and it's not just for this, there's other reasons that you free that port up um i won't go through it because if you're a developer you know already all right thanks for watching